How y'all doing? This is Karsten Miller from uh, Defense Maker. Um, I got another scripture for you. I want to thank and give praise and honor and glory to God, first of all, and to the Lord Jesus Christ. And I want to thank God for sending godly pastors, uh, Pastor John, to and, and encourage me to study the scriptures and learn the scriptures. I want to give a shout out to my man Mike um, and my good friend and brother Carrie, Carrie Barr, and also Kyra Barr, my sister in Christ. Um, Psalm 1. How blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked, nor stand in the path of sinners, nor sit in the seat of scoffers. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and his law he meditates day and night. He will be like a tree, firmly planted by streams of water, which yields its fruit in its season, and its leaf does not wither, and in whatever he does, he prospers. The wicked are not so, but they are like the chaff, which the wind drives away, Therefore the wicked will not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the assembly of the righteous. For the Lord knows the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked will perish. So you see in this, the first psalm, you know, there's a comparison of the righteous man versus the, the wicked. There's, there's a contrast there. This can be, you know, brought to understand the Christian versus the non-Christian, the one who obeys the word of God to the one that does not be obey the word of God, which we learned in the, the first YouTube video I did, when you don't obey the word of God, you're ignoring the word of God. But in that first verse, the writer of Psalms says, blessed is a man. That does not walk in the counsel of the ungodly. Blessed. That word is in, in the Hebrew means happy. It means happy. You're happy when you do not walk in the counsel of the ungodly. Now what is ungodly counsel? Also in the Hebrew um, that ungodly counsel can stand for um, counsel, advice, purpose, prudence, um, advisement. It is the wicked men that we should not be following after or taking advice from. Because um, ungodly counsel leads to destruction. You see that in Second Chronicles chapter 22 verse 3. You also see in Proverbs where it talks about there's a way that seems right unto a man, but in the end is destruction. So see, man has its way of believing that it's right, but that leads to destruction. But true happiness, just like what Jesus said in the Sermon on the Mount in Matthew chapter 5, blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the ungodly. You will be happy not listening to all this stuff going on out here in the world. Now if you hear in the background a little TV, that's my wife, my godly wife up there listening to godly pastors and scripture learning the word of God. That's what those in Christ do. They study the scripture and then they apply the word of God to their life and they live because Christ Jesus lives with inside of them. Now, I want to quickly go to verse 2. Look at that verse 2 in Psalm 1. It says, But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law he meditates day and night. So your delight should be in God's word. The, the, the word law, it meant precept, statute. In the Hebrew it was Torah. That's the word of God. That's the word of God. That's God's instruction. That's scripture. You have to delight yourself in the word of God. In the scripture. Well how do you do that? Ah, In that next part of that verse he says. And his 
law, he meditates day and night. Now that word meditates. That's the key. That's the key. In the Hebrew, it means Hagah. Hagah, which is to ponder, to imagine, to meditate. Almost like in mourning. You, it's to think about something in earnest. Often with the focus on the thinking about the future plans and contingencies. You know, possibly uh, speaking to God. Or, you know, you speaking the word of God in low tones. So basically you're pondering on the word of God. You're like whispering the word of God as you think. That's how you delight in his word. What, you mean I say Psalm 23? Either I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. Yes, you say that. You meditate on that. You think on that. Remember Romans 12, verses 1 and 2, what it says. What does it say? Be not conformed to this world, but have your mind transformed by the renewing of your mind. Wicked, righteous. Which are you? Do you follow after the Lord Jesus Christ? Do you trust in his word? Are you obeying what the scripture says? Then you should delight. You should delight in the word of God. Even in these hard economic times. Oh I know you want to listen to the pimping pastor. Who's telling you all these good things in your ear. But what is the word of God saying? What is the scripture saying? No, the man of God is not the scripture. He is a man. And what does Psalm 118 say? It is better to trust in the Lord than in princes. It is better to put your trust in God than in man. That's what the scripture teaches. Stop listening to these pimping pastors. And if they're female pastors, they are not called of God. Because that's not what the scripture teaches. Come on Christians. Let us open up our Bibles. And not only when we open them up. Let's begin to meditate on them. Let's delight in the word of God. And then let us live that word. To edify the church. And to let Christ draw others unto him. This is difference maker. Jesus Christ is the difference maker. This is Carsten Miller. You guys have a blessed and wonderful Christ filled day. And PJ, I'm going to get back up with you uh, when I get back into work this week. Alright, God bless.